y'all? It's Risa and welcome back to our weekly series where we do a five minute review of a game that we've played on stream. I've been playing all of the Nancy Drew games in order on our Twitch, Curlmeister Sisters, and I recently finished Message in a Haunted Mansion. So let's talk about that. Message in a Haunted Mansion is the third entry in her interactive's Nancy Drew series. It was originally released in 2000 and we actually played it that year. Well, we started it and then it melted in Ariana's computer, so we didn't actually finish it until we got another copy of it four years later. Anyway, this game works pretty well on modern computers in compatibility mode, so it's already a step above the last game since you can actually play it. Let's talk plot. No spoilers, but let's have a brief overview. Nancy goes to San Francisco to visit Rose Green, her housekeeper Hannah's friend from community theater. But I guess. Rose bought a Victorian house with her gal pal, Abby Sedaris, also from community theater, and they are renovating it to make it a bed and breakfast. Hooray for contributing to the housing crisis in San Francisco! Hannah tells Nancy that there have been some strange accidents surrounding the renovations. So Nancy puts on her sleuthing pants, aka her mom jeans, and gets snooping. We meet Charlie Murphy, a handyman helping with the renovations, and Lewis Chandler, who owns an antique store. It's a gallery, not a store. I'm sorry, gallery who is helping Rose keep things authentic to the Victorian period. We also learned that Rose just hired both of these men off of the streets. He stopped by one day to introduce himself. He seemed awfully curious about our property. I remember Abby and I were in the basement talking about hiring someone to help us. 20 minutes later, the doorbell rang and there stood Charlie, looking for work. Like, ma'am. But things get spooky as Abby blames the accidents on a ghost and claims the house is haunted, hence the title of the game. Nancy has to figure out who is behind the accidents and help Rose finish the renovations in time to open. Uh, yeah, that's the whole plot. I finished the game in two and a half hours, so there's really not much to it. Let's talk gameplay. This game has puzzles. God, I was so excited to have puzzles. They aren't particularly hard puzzles, but they're inoffensive and I really enjoy some of them, except for the parquet puzzle, but I'll get to that. This game has a good mix of puzzle puzzles, like slider puzzles, and more problem-solving puzzles, like tying an iron to a dumbwaiter to fix it. As you do. So what do I like about the game? This game has a lot of nostalgia for me. It was the first Nancy Drew game we ever played, so it has a special place in my heart for that alone. But I also like the spooky aspects of the game. There are little haunting events that you can catch if you're paying attention. I also really enjoy a lot of the puzzles, but I know my love of slider puzzles is not shared by all. Also. There's a seance, which is always a plus in my book. My wife, where can she be? However, what don't I like about it? It is janky as fuck. The parquet puzzle I mentioned is pretty impossible. The game was originally 800 by 600 pixels, and when trying to play it at that size on a modern monitor, you really can't get the pieces in the exact pixels it wants you to. So I had to resize the window in the most bizarre way, but I did finally finish it. Woo! Guys, it took me less than half an hour to do that. There's also the issue that I haven't brought up yet, and that's the exotification of Chinese culture. Nancy's room in the house is literally referred to as the Chinese room, and the decor is very stereotypical of what white people think when they think Chinese culture. The one phrase in Chinese they have is mispronounced enough that it took years for people to realize it wasn't complete nonsense, just Americans butchering Cantonese. Gumbo Fu? I love gumbo. What kind of gumbo is gumbo Fu? Gumbo Fu. I get what they were going for to have an educational bit in a game about San Francisco, as the Chinese community literally helped build the city, but like, maybe they could have had an actual Chinese character? Though, to be fair, that might have been more racist when you realize the only Asian character they've included so far was a Japanese foreign exchange student who was a workaholic who wanted to be a doctor. So, yeah. But all in all, I enjoy this game. Though, if I took off my rose-colored glasses, I might have a bit of a different opinion on it. But as it is, it's a cute, short game that I personally have fun playing. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to watch us live, you can follow us on Twitch. The link to our channel is in the description below. If you're interested in Nancy Drew themed merch, make sure to check out our Etsy in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Peace out, y'all.